Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this color palette filter. Let me close this project and for this filter we will need uh, assets. Let me show you which assets. And these assets is like a rectangle on them, uh, transparent background and also frame on the transparent background. So you can get those assets for free. In my telegram channel the link is going to be in the description to this video and uh, if you plan to use these assets please give it a thumbs up to this video to support me okay so let's click new project blank project and also by the way I have a, a Gumroad page where I sell different assets or I give some stuff for free so check it out. The link is going to be also in the description to this video. Okay, let's come back to uh, to the project. And I'm going to click Add Object and I'm going to search for the Face Mesh. And this is going to be Plus Material and this material is going to be Retouch. So first is Retouch. And let's add the assets that I just showed you to our uh, assets panel. So these assets, let me drag all of them to assets panel and click no compression. Okay, and now I'm adding one more object and I'm searching for the rectangle. So this rectangle is going to be, um, I'm going to call it one and I'm going to make fill width and fill height and I'm going to click plus on material. This actually is going to be retouched. Let me rename it just so we know. And this material is going to be one and I'm changing to flat. And now I'm just duplicating this rectangle. So I'm pressing Command C, Command V on Mac. And I'm doing this uh, four times. And as you see, when I duplicated it, the material also got duplicated like this. And all the settings got saved. So this one is going to be for the um, uh, black circles. And we need to add one more uh, canvas. And this is one going to be for the frames. So this one going to be for the frames. And I'm putting in this order because a Spark AR renders objects from the top to bottom. So I want to be black circles behind and frames on top of it. So let's add one more rectangle here. And let's call it one frame. Actually, no, let's call it just frame one like this and let's make this rectangle full width and full height also plus material create new material and this material also going to be frame one duplicate duplicate and duplicate and the same I'm going to do with material. I'm going to duplicate, duplicate and duplicate. And now I'm going to make sure that frame one has material frame one. And this material is actually needs to be flat. Let me change each one of them to flat. And frame two also flat. So like also let's go to frame two. It has frame one, so we're changing to frame two. And then frame three has uh, frame one. We need to change to frame three. And frame four, we're changing to frame four. Okay. So now time to assign our um, uh, textures to our material. So. The first one is going to have the first rectangle, but we're going to put it into alpha. So let's search for the, our first black. And this is first rectangle. The second one is going to have also in alpha our second rectangle. So it's second black. 
The third one is going to have our, in alpha, our third rectangle. It's going to be third black. And our fourth one is going to have also fourth black. Now also we're going to our frames and we are going to our materials and we're going to put in regular texture, we will put frame one. For the frame two, we are choosing frame two. For the frame three, we are choosing frame three. And for the frame four, we are choosing frame four. Okay, so now we have our um, all frames and also those black, black rectangles. They are uh, not visible yet fully. So let's go to the patch editor. And now we are going to camera and we are clicking camera extraction. And now we are drawing this camera extraction and we are using this RGBA port and we are searching for the texture transformation. And since we have four rectangles, we need to copy this four times. So I just duplicated it. And now I'm connecting them using RGBA port. The next thing, uh, we're going to search from the texture sampler. And also duplicate it uh, three more times. So let's put here. And connect texture, texture, texture. Now let's go to the rectangle and actual, let's go to the rectangle, material of that rectangle and click on texture. And let's connect the first. Let me switch off with it myself. So I connect it like this. And let's click this texture and also connect the third one and the fourth one. And I want to show you something. So here it's called X um, axis and Y axis. So imagine, for example, so let me show you back here. So we have here also X and Y. So for example, if I'm going to put here one and one, and you see this uh, brown color appeared, that's basically the spark ER looks on the spot, uh, which is the coordinates of which is going to be one into x here and one to into y. And it takes this spot, this spot, and it takes the colors from this spot. So basically, you can play around and put any one that you want. And then by using this uh, coordinates, you can decide where it's going to be actually located. So for example, if you're going to put x minus 1 and y minus 1, then the dot is going to be here. Or if you're going to put something, for example, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, that is going to be here. So this kind of coordinates will help you to understand which dot you're picking. Uh, but I can show you what, uh, like, what uh, numbers I used. So for the second one, I put 0 0.5 and 1. For the third one, I used 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And for the uh, fourth one, I used 0 0.25 and 0 0.25. But as I said, it's not mandatory. You can play around with this UV co coordinates. And based on that, the Spark ER will pick different dots on different parts of the uh, camera texture. 
So play around and pick what you like the most or use mine if you, if, if you like them. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye, guys.